All right, we're at the all-star break. This is my recap slash what the Jays need at the trade deadline. Um, Wee's camp for three. He misses it, my guy. Um, yeah, this Raptors summer league team's terrible. But anyway, let's get to the Blue Jays. Um, we're at the halfway point for Toronto, and as my expectations. You know, my expectations were a little higher, but we're 50 and 41, which is not bad. We're in a playoff spot right now, currently. Um, we just have to build from that. Um, it's been an up and down season. The runners in scoring position need to get back. We need to cl cl uh, connect with runners in scoring position because it's been frustrating. The bullpen's been really good, but overworked. Um, and the stars. Stars have been alright as well. Like the pitching is not the problem. Maybe some aspects, but the star the hitting has to get going. The power numbers have to get better. The runners in scoring position have to have to get better. Yeah, yeah, Boba Shed's been our best here, banging 317, 15 homers. Lately he's been a little slowed down, but he's still 122 hits, 15 15 but he has the same amount of home runs as walks. He doesn't walk people. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, he has to get, he, he can play better, but, you know, Bo's been really good and improved the defense. Vladdy has to play better, again, get the power numbers up. Springer's been all really good lately. Wit, Wit's been really good lately. Chapman has, Chapman and Varshall, those guys have to step up. I'm not bringing back Chapman. Scott Boris, he, he can get overpaid somewhere else. I wanted to bring back Chapman at the beginning of the year when he was doing good, but now, like, this, like, lately it's been really just bad. He's swinging at high fastballs and just missing. Like, he's not even connecting, not even putting the ball in the air. So, like, Matt Chapman, I like his defense. Uh, we can find a replacement for him, Matt Chapman. Uh, Varsha has to play better. Again, uh, I like a lot of his aspects, but the average has to get better. And he has to fucking get base hits. Kimar's been alright. Belt's been alright. Jan Kirk has fallen off the fucking planet. This guy is terrible. Like you know, he used to be a really good. He used to just get racking up singles and base hits. Now he can't even put the ball in play. Like and when he does, it's a ground out to like the short. And then like there's like you know on TV when they show the runner like running to first base, you don't see him until like the ball is already caught by the first baseman. espinal has been ass. Kevin Biggio. Way better than last year, but I still don't like him. Danny Jensen has been a hero. Today he was the fucking hero. For a tying home, tying home run um, against Detroit. And uh, Danny Jensen, is, he's, been a, he's a clutch player. And he's a good catcher defensively. And he was the DH today, and he delivered. Um, so, yeah, Nathan Lucas has been clutch. Tyler Hunnam has been all right back up. Hor Horowitz. Horowitz has been okay. Um, they only called him up for three games. Clement. Ernie. Like, they have to play him more than fucking Biggio. And then the rest of the players, eh. So the, the lineup has been okay. But the runners in scoring position kill me. Um, make me want to throw a, uh, push a needle through my eye. Um. It's just the runners in scoring position just kill me, you know. When when they get runners on second, it just uh, you know, how are they gonna fuck it up? That's how I I think, oh, we can get a, get some runs here. No, I'm gonna see I'd be like, How are they gonna fuck it up? Uh Yeah, but um let's get to the pitching which is actually the positive side of this team. Not at the begin at the beginning of the year the starting pitching looked terrible. Kevin Gosman our ace, hundred and fifty three Strikeouts, been pretty good this year. 3.03 ERA. The wins and losses look skewed because our team doesn't like scoring for him for some reason. Chris Bassett's been all right. A little shaky start today. I think that All-Star Brick's going to help him out. Um, so he's been all right. Jose Barrios has turned his fucking career around. He's been, other than that start against Boston lately, he's been really lights out. This guy, he's back to what we trade for. That's why we got him the extension. Lamacata is a fucking stud right now. Um, 101 strikeouts. Yeah, Kikuchi. That's a four starter role. Um, 
I mean, he hasn't been good lately, but I think the All-Star break is going to help him out. I think they're going to help out a lot of these guys and hopefully give them some rest and refocus. Trevor Richards has been a fucking stud. I've hated this guy last year. This year he's fucking turned to 180. Um, his change-up fastball combination has been fucking elite. This guy, he also was a opener as well. That's why he has a one loss. I think that loss was against the uh, Rangers. So, yeah. Alec Manoa, two wins and against the Central. He's been terrible this year, but last game against the Tigers, he showed a lot of promise. You know, he went six innings, so we'll see what happens there. German Romano's been up and down in non-save situations. He's the worst pitcher of all time. In save situations, he gives you a fucking one, two, three inning or a fucking stress inning. So, yeah. Eric Swanson has been elite. He's been our setup guy. Yemi Garcia lately has been good. He's still... I still would want to get a replacement. Tim Mays has been a stud. the One of the best lefty pitchers in the bullpen in the league, actually. Nate Pearson's been solid, you know. A little bit shaky start. Uh, not start. Shaky outings. But, um... Yeah, I like Nate Pearson. Uh, Zach Poppy's on the IL. Anthony Bass is gone. Simber sucks. Bowen Friends has been alright. Mitch White sucks, even though he pitched alright against Detroit in that relief role, even though... Um, yeah, Tim, Thomas Hatch sucks. Jay Jackson, he's been good with the seven innings he pitched. Trent Thornton's been good. Uh, I think they sent him down. I don't know. Ernie Clement pitched one inning, I think. So, yeah, the pitching was not the problem. With the, Jays. the Jays, maybe they can add another relief pitcher because Yimmy Garcia, you can't gamble. You can't bank on him. And we need to get rid of Adam Simber. And then, I don't know. It's a good problem with the pitchers that we have. Uh, I don't know if we're going to add a starter. It depends on how Mel Alec Manoa does, you know. Yeah, so the rotation's been, like, it's been solid, you know, not elite. Kevin gosman has been elite. Everyone else has been, uh, you know, Bassett has slowed down, and Kikuchi has slowed down, and Barrios has just, he's been really good. He's, he's staying the course, so. Yeah, and Alec Manoa, yeah, he had that good start against the Tigers, but I'm not forgetting the rest of the shit he'd done. If he plays good against whatever team he plays next, then I think maybe he can turn his season around a little bit, and in the offseason he can lose some fucking weight and get better and hopefully be the guy that he was in 2022 and 2021. Um, but, yeah, off what we need right now I think is a righty bat, <laughs> a righty DH bat who hits for power. Um a, no, not a D8. Like maybe an outfielder. I don't know. Someone that can hit against lefties because when, like, Brandon Belt's the DH slash backup first baseman against righties and against lefties, we really have to have Danny Jensen as a DH. Come on. Like, we need to get a guy who can hit lefties. So, um, I don't know. We'll get a guy who can. I don't think the Jays are going to do that much in the uh, trade deadline because I don't think there is that much to do. Um, if we, uh, if if Manoa sucks the rest of the way this month, then we have to trade for a starter. If not, then you gotta. Be, I don't know what they would do. I don't know. Maybe one bullpen arm and a and a righty bat. Uh, I guess some depth because the depth for this team is not that good. Espinal's not good. Ernie, I like him, but he's not good. Um, Kevin Biggio, I, I want to send him to Mars. Like, the depth on this team is not that good, you know? Yesterday, we got no hit because George Springer wasn't there and fucking Witt had to lead off. So, um, yeah, the depth is not that good. We need to add some depth hitting and maybe one bullpen arm. That's, that's why I think they should do, and I think they would probably do that because... I don't think they're going to add a starter. Uh, I don't. We'll see. You never know come that time. But um, you never know. July 20, 31st, we could be a different team. There could be injuries. You never fucking know. Um, but, yeah, that's my my take. What's your take? What do you think the Jays should add? What players do you do you want the Jays to add um, to the roster? Uh, I don't know. I would, when the trade deadline gets closer, I'll do... Some more research on who is available and who I want at the trade deadline because there's gonna be rumors coming up after the All Star break. Um, the Jays have to play better, like as a team. 
and then they can add. So the hitting has to get going internally, and then externally we can add one more bat. Um, but overall, overall, I think uh, the team, you know, ups and downs, but they're they're right there. They're right there in the playoff spot, and they just have to win games to stay in that spot and try to move up. The Rays have been struggling. Yankees have been struggling. The Red Sox and the Orioles, they've been doing good. So, the Red Sox have been playing better lately, and the Orioles have been playing fucking good lately. We, we are, So, second half, this is what I want. I want the Jays to win some fucking division games, because I'm tired of that. I want the Jays to capitalize with runners in scoring position, and I want the Jays to add a righty bat who can hit some lefties. And maybe a bullpen arm, that's it. And get some depth guys on the bench, because... When I see Kevin Biggio out there and Espinal, it makes me uh, my stomach hurt. So we need some depth guys, you know. Need some guys off the bench who could actually hit the damn ball. So, um, yeah. So we need to add some depth on this team. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do, but uh, Ross Atkins, Mark Shapiro, get the phones ready. July 31st or prior, we'll see what happens there. So that's it. That's the video. Uh, my computer's gonna die. Um, we want the Jays to get. It. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, All Star break. No more Blue Jays baseball till Friday. Thank God. And uh, that's all, guys. Say peace.